Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our guest, our next guest really needs no introduction, but I'll just give you a few fun facts. He is one of the greatest players in the history of the NFL. He is a two-time Super Bowl champ and a New York football Giants legend. You got to say that. Lawrence Taylor is joining Sister Circle Live today. How are you, Mr. I'm Taylor? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be finally in the circle. Finally, you're finally, finally in the circle. Finally in the circle. Yes. You've been waiting. You've been waiting to make it wait. down to the circle. This is awesome. And I feel so honored to be next to you as a football fan, as the uh, daughter of a football coach. This right here uh, means a lot to me. It really does. Mm -hmm. But it's all about you right now. When did you know that football <laughs> was, was your calling? Was it something uh -huh. that you got into when you were younger? Or how did it happen? You know, I um, I really didn't play football. I was, I was a baseball player. Okay. And I was a hell of a baseball player. And um, I started playing football when I was in 11th grade. 11th and, grade? Yes. And uh, somebody... One of the coaches challenged me to come out and um, and try for football, and I and I tell you, for the first, I guess the first two months, man, it, they knocked me around pretty good, <laughs> right? You know, but then I decided to, to, to do the knocking, and I just got better and better and right, better. Right. And before, you know, the the end of the year, I'm you know, up for all American. Then I went to college, and yes. I did pretty good in college. Uh, well, you, you did, know? yeah. yeah. You know? So, um, I um, it's been a, a a great journey for me. I tell you, I look at my life and say, what would I have done? Uh, if I hadn't played football, mm -hmm. get married five more times? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right. I hope not. <laughs> I hope right, not. right, right. Uh, so when did you realize after you transitioned, obviously, to mm -hmm. college that NFL was could be in your future? Was it pretty soon? When I went to college, mm -hmm. the first two years, I was filling with the, the with the idea. Do you do you want to be feared or do you want to be uh, respected? I just wanted to be feared at first, first mm -hmm. until I became a junior. When I became a junior, uh, I, you know, I met my um, my first wife. Okay. And and she uh, she I guess changed me a little bit and and I I realized it was better to be respected yeah. than feared. And when I got that in my head. Uh, everything changed. Everything it was changed. It just everything changed. Respected. I became a player. And I mean, a player. Yes. Yeah. Well, what was it about that mindset from being feared and respected that changed your play on the field? As I changed my mindset and realized what my father had told me all, all, all my life, and I just, and then when I realized that, you know, you got to be better than the next man just to be equal yes and and I and I when when I when I got that I had it yes and when I got that I became a player you did. and when I got that hey, hey they had to look out because I was better than I ever was yeah because yeah. you were one of these players as an outside mm -hmm. linebacker hybrid defensive end you changed the game oh look at you I mean try to tell God, you you must be doing my <laughs> your notes I mean they're right here they're right here but I, I know this I, 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 I literally have, have watched you my mm -hmm. I've watched you during my, my younger life and, mm -hmm. and I you are a feared man and also a respected man but you changed the way that position was played from the way you did it. Did, did you did you see the evolution? We we, we changed the way, and, I, and I'm and I'm, I'm going to say we because I have to thank Bill Parcells okay. also. Yes. You know because Amazing you know coach. because if 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 Bill wanted to, he could have made me just like the other, just the other linebacker just doing the same old thing. And when I went to the, the NFL and I watched these guys. Play and 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 I started on the third team. Mm -hmm. I mean, it lasted five minutes, but uh, you know, I, I was for, I was third team, then second team, then and then in about five minutes later, I was first team. Yeah. So, and I and the way they did things is too slow, mm -hmm. too slow. It just wasn't it wasn't it wasn't my type of. And I'm like, man, if I can go here and if I can do this and if I can do that and Bill just, he just wouldn't let me do anything. Finally, I told him he had to, you know, he had to get off my butt. I can't, I can't play like this. And he allowed me to do it my way mm -hmm. until my way didn't work. So I didn't have to worry about talking to him again for the next 10 years. Right, so, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but um, he was the, he was instrumental and he
He saw, I guess you can say, the greatness before I saw it. Yeah. That's yeah. usually how it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Other people see your greatness before yeah. you do. Wow. Yeah. We're going to talk more about that greatness when we return and also find out how his amazing football camp went this past weekend. More with the legendary, the iconic mm -hmm. Lawrence Taylor when we return. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are here, of course, with the legendary Lawrence Taylor. In 1999, you became a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. What did that moment and that honor mean for you? Well, I look at going into the Pro Football Hall of Fame, you know, there was, there was some controversy because, you know, I had some drug years and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I'm like, man, if, then if they don't put me in the Hall of Fame, then you just will shut it down because it's a joke. Yeah. I mean, because, hey, but I, it's just like Ter uh, Terrell Owens mm -hmm. saying he's not going to uh, go uh, to to the, to the Hall of Fame, you know, because because but that's his day. That's his day. He needed to be there because that's his day. And I remember going through the same thing in my mind. Well, if they don't put me in the Hall of Fame, then, I, then when they do, I'm not going. I'm so glad. <laughs> I earned, I didn't, they didn't put me and I earned the Hall of yes. Fame. I'm so glad I was a, a first ballot. I'm so glad I went and, 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 and was a part of everything that was happening out there because, you know what? I tell you something, it, 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 my son was out there, you know, my ex wives, um, <laughs> yeah, both of them. Anyway. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. You know, and I tell you what, and Harry Carson, I hadn't talked to Harry Carson in five years. Me and him had a had a had a, a problem yeah. towards the end of my career, and I hadn't talked to Harry Carson in five years. And when Harry Carson showed up at that, mm. yep, 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 yep. What did that mean for you? I was very proud to be a New York Giant and a friend of his. Yes. Yes. If you could tell Tara Owens one thing, because you think he needs to be there, what would you say? I think he needs to be there. I mean, um, it's nothing like it. You know what? You've worked all your life for this moment. All your life. Man. I went to college, I went to high school, I went to the pros. I mean, I've, I've excelled at every level, just like he has. He excelled at every level. He can't let somebody yep. a, a downgrade his, his, his performance. This guy, is a, he, he is, he's, he's an actor, he's a performer, and he is given a great performance. He needs to stand up and take a bow yes. and say, hey, bring it on. Yeah. You know, and that's what, and that's what I would tell him. And uh, this, this childish stuff, man, hey, it, 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 it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's it. This past weekend was a, a great opportunity to, for you to show this and your vulnerability, and, but also practicality and, and, and showing these young people. Hell, I don't um, even know most of those words you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Using your gifts, your physical gifts, okay. to, for, for, for the youth. Uh, okay. Tell us about your football camp run by your amazing daughter. Well, I, I tell you, we started the, the, the camp in Hackensack, New Jersey, and we had a great, great turnout. We've had it for several years, and my daughters, for some reason, they wanted to move it to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, what the, what y'all a bunch of fools. <laughs> you know, no. like, I don't want to, I don't want to, man, I played in, the, you know, I played in New mm -hmm. Jersey and so on and so No, no. Oh, daddy, come on, let, let's, let's move it to, to Atlanta. Well, I remember driving up with my, with my, uh, my son-in-law and just expecting maybe, I didn't know what to expect, yeah. how many people going back. And I just saw the whole field just full of kids and stuff, re yeah. ready to go out and play, uh, you know, to, to work. You know, I'm not a coach, I mean, hey, but I, hey, to get, to receive some of my knowledge about football. Yes. So, I mean, I was so impressed. Do you really know what you have done? 
oh, yeah, the game I know. of football. But, yeah. for, but, but for people to be able to see what you've been through, because mm -hmm. it's been well documented. Oh, yeah, of course. But to rise from that and still get the response, you're God's child, first of all, and <laughs> still being used no matter what you've been yeah, through. Yeah, I know, but all that, say, all that being said, the love and respect that Atlanta showed me, I had to bring it back. And this uh, this past weekend, phenomenal turnout again. We had a good time. We we ran. We ate. We we <laughs> did things we had uh, had to do, and all with a purpose in mind. Yes, yes. And um, that's what made it worth doing it. Yes. Well, this moment is worth being where I am mm -hmm. in my career mm -hmm. to be able to interview you. It's been my absolute pleasure to be here with you, the legendary Lawrence Taylor, right here on Sister Circle Live, and the conversation continues on Sister Circle Live on all social media platforms.